Hi, welcome to Leisure and Rec at Home. Today we are going to explore some very cool um, website called Google Arts and Culture. But before we begin that, um, we're going to go over our little learning target. I have my assistant here again, Liam, to help us out. So today we're going to explore some virtual art museums. So last week we did virtual um, zoos and aquariums. Today we're going to be doing art museums. So you're going to be using your fine motor skills to use either your mouse or a touch screen to maneuver around the website. You're also going to be making decisions and stating what you like. Do you like this piece of art or no, not so much? Finding what you really enjoy. You know when I got, you know you got it when you use the website to find a piece of famous artwork that you like. Oh, there it is. All right, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to share my screen here so that you can get a chance to check out this cool website. So the website is called Google Art and Culture. It is artandculture.google.com. Now, when you have this, you're going to look for these little three little um, lines. This is going to help you get around the website. Now, you of course can play around and go down the main page here and it gives you a lot of information, a lot of fun stuff. So of course you can do it that way. But I wanted to show you how to use this taskbar on the side. So the first place we're gonna to go to is this one right here that says explore. So in here, they have some highlights, some street views. They have a lot of different artists. So if you have a particular artist, you can look into that. Um, different types of mediums, different types of art movements, historical events and historical figures and places. So we're gonna start with the artist tab here. So we're gonna click on that. And one of my favorite artists is Van Gogh. So let's, gonna ch let's check out some of Van Gogh's artwork. So I'm gonna see here, it gives you some information about Van Gogh and some stories about him. Then it shows up a lot of different artwork. So you can look at any of these artwork up close. So I'm going to go back to one of my favorites, the sunflowers. And you click on it and then you get to see the beautiful picture of sunflowers, but then if you see this little magnifying glass, you can click on it and you can zoom in. So you can see exactly how Van Gogh painted all of those little lines, okay? So if you have like a little scroll, you can go in and out, and it also gives you um, information. You also can see where it is located by doing street view. This is the actual museum, and it's actually on the wall there. So it's at the Van Gogh, Van Gogh Museum in the Netherlands. That's really cool. And then it also down here has all the other um, artwork that you can check out. So let's go back. So we discovered this artist. Let's see if we can discover someone else or something else. So we go back. Here we are back to our exploring page. Different mediums. Now mediums are the different things that you use to make the different artwork. So it could be clay, it could be paper, it could be sculptures, glass. Hey Liam, why don't you pick one out? Which one do you want to look at? Um, so these are different, all different types. It, it wasn't leather, but I, but no. Yeah, well, let's try it out. Let's look at some leather here. Ooh, okay. So all these things were made with leather. Let's see about some other ones. Another one. So what you can do with this is you can go then to different collections. Collections are different museums around the world. 
So we can check out any of these museums. They have them organized by letter, organized by a map. So let's just really quickly check out this museum in um, New York City. This one is the Museum of Modern and Art. And on here, you can see there are different types of paintings and uh, sculptures and artwork that they have. And you can look at the different pictures, where it's located on the map. Okay, so that's a lot of cool stuff. Let's see if we can check out a different one now. Ooh, let's check out. How about we check out this museum? also in New York, the Met. So once again, they have all the pictures, the items, but what's really cool is they have this little thing called Mu uh, Museum Views. So you can click on the little guy and that actually puts you right in the museum. So you can look around the room as if you are in the museum. Anytime you see an X, you can move closer. Now, let's say you want to see a different room. All of these pictures on the bottom showed some other rooms in the area. So let's say I want to check this out. Ooh, there's the drums. And I go, looks like I have some armor down there. So you can check out wherever you want and zoom in. The little arrows tell you which direction to go. And you can go to first floor or second floor. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Now, in addition to collections, they also have art movements. So if you like a particular type of artwork, like you like modern art or Renaissance art, you can go into that. They also have historical events where if you want to learn more about a particular thing that happened in history, you can check it out there. You can also check out historical figures, so famous people throughout the years. Oh, yeah, there's Abraham Lincoln. So, there's also a search option. So if you're interested in finding out what they have in Detroit at the DIA, Detroit Institute of Art, you can type in DIA in the search engine. And right here. Detroit Institute of Art. So it's under one of the collections. So very cool. It has some stories here, has some items on collection. So all these wonderful pictures you can see at the DIA. Right now the DIA is closed, but you can still visit it online. You can check out some of this cool artwork. So there's a lot of fun stuff that you can try, try out on this um, website. The other thing that you can do is if you have a particular piece of artwork that you really like, like I like this one because it has a lot of cool colors, I can always add this to my favorites by putting a little heart here, okay? And then when I go to my favorites, it'll be featured there, okay? So that way you can always go back to those ones you like a lot. And then you can zoom in these beautiful pieces of art. Look how pretty. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this website. Please um, try it out and I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.